Well, there's another deal I got off of Bud K. Two for one special. Here's Mr. Rocky the Cat. You see him right there? He's, he's camouflaged. He's like hanging out by the pillow. Anyway. Yeah, these were like, um, this is nice looking, man. It's got a gold blade on it. Well, it's cysted openers, right? One works better than the other. But I think I got them both working pretty good now. You got to break them in a little bit. It's like a gold blade. m -tech. It's got the serrated edge on it. It's got a bottle opener on it. See? <laughs> right there. Who the hell opens up bottles anymore? I mean, these are the twist-off caps, but it's got a bottle opener on it. I guess that's a glass breaker right there. You got your lanyard hole right here, right? Kind of like stealthy lanyard hole. You don't even notice it. Got a nice gold colored stainless steel clip. It's anodized aluminum handle. It's got the serrated edge on there, which is very handy. And it's hollowed out with the fuller, so a little less lightweight. You know, it's less weight. But it's a nice, nice, good deal. So these were $7.50 each delivered, right? Not bad, man. So I'm a happy, happy knife camper. So and Mr. Rocky over here, this guy's a... No, I, and I've been ordering uh, <laughs> blade play. He sent me a hat. <laughs> I went to order the switchblade. You know, regular switchblade. You know, I had one of those things. You probably saw that if you didn't. Here's Mr. Rocky. Hi, Mr. Rocky. You want a knife? Huh? You can supplement your claws with that. How's that? All right? He's got he's got other knives under here. Here's a buoy. All right, buddy. But hey, man, this is a. Uh, yeah, I know people go, eh, cheap Chinese knife. Yeah, shit. That freaking ain't that cheap, man. You know, if it was in USA, people would say, oh, it's great. Well, you know what? I figure, you know, I got a lot of USA knives. Like I said that before, but um, I figured exchange rate is going to go kablooey one of these days. Actually, when, um, <laughs> shouldn't say nothing political on here, but, you know, I voted for Trump, too, but... He's going to probably make it so the Chinese are going to go, screw this exchange rate, since you're not, we're not going to be able to dump on your country anymore because you want it. you're going to put a tariff. Guess what? We're going to say, screw pegging our currency to the dollar. Then you're going to find that all this stuff that is really easy to get cheap, it's not going to be cheap anymore. And when I look at it like this, this thing, it's, it's not you know the best blade in the world. It does look pretty, though. It's pretty useful. Uh, but it'll be around a long time as long as you don't abuse the crap out of it. It's, it's not a plastic handle. You know, you can open up your... Whatever. <laughs> <coughs> your bottles of beer. Whatever. I don't drink beer, but whatever. <coughs> I don't know if that's such a useful feature anymore. You know, opening up uh, bottles because... <laughs> what bottles have those kind of caps anymore, right? They're pretty much twist-offs. But you do have your lantern hole right here. It's an assistant. This I always like. I said I was a big fan of serrated parcels, serrated edge. Plenty of times you need that. <coughs> I always use that for the wire strip, like I said. And you got your. <coughs> it's a solid. It's a solid knife, man. Because this bottle opener, it's got this stainless steel. All incorporated into this and the aluminum handle. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and a lock up on it. It's a liner lock, but it's you know locks up good. Looks like it's pretty much impervious to the elements. I'm not sure how long this gold is going to stay looking like this, but it's it's got all the right features. It's an assisted opener. Um, it looks nice, gold and black. Looks like a little bullet, man, or something. Looks like an arrowhead. You put this on a... So it almost looks like an arrowhead, don't it? Boy, they could probably put another theme on this. Make it look like Indian stuff. You know, American Indian. American Native peoples. But it's from... Uh, it's called the M-Tech Ballistic. M-Tech USA made in China. M-Tech USA made in China. It's the model number... MTA7... 058G, I think that's what that says. 
I mean, they, not bad though, man. Not bad. I'll tell you what, you just couldn't get this, well, one of these days. When we start working 20 hours a day, six days a week, I think Americans are going to start producing stuff this cheap again, you know? But uh, that means everybody's going to have to get off their ass, you know? So for now, I'd rather take advantage of what we got and uh, not waste my money on uh, video games or some crap like that. I'd rather get some knives. Uh, so... There you go, and uh, we're probably gonna have some a little bit of an update on the video on a spooky too, right after this thing, because uh, I haven't been putting out any videos on that lately, and I think that spooky two is a pretty damn good device. So spooky two central that is. And it says M Tech USA ballistic, made in China or something, USA design. 440 stainless steel. Yeah, well, you know the deal, man. But that's all going to stop. And I guess if it does stop, you're not going to be able to get these for this price anymore. So get them while you can, right? And like, like I said, I'll probably have that knife 20 years from now. I'll be around because I'll be using my spooky too, and I'll be in great health. No microbes in this body. So. Maybe you know, the assisted springs work good. This one works a little bit better. This one I had to kind of uh, tune up a little bit first and break it in, but it works pretty good now. It's, it's just a hair, well, it's opening all the way now. It's just a hair slower. This one worked great every time. They both do now, but this one's just a bit slower. But if you, if you get a knife that's a little bit slow like that, just use it a bunch. You might even want to take this... Uh, Torx head screw here and back it out about an eighth of a turn. Not much. Not a, no, don't make the blade loose, but just take it out like an eighth of a turn and put some WD 40 in there and just work it a bunch of times. That's what I did. And that one works good too. So, but they're nice looking knives for 15 bucks for two. Bud K special. How long are they going to be on there for, for that price? I don't know. I don't know. Guy keeps sending me emails and I keep buying his shit. So. I think I'm going to stop doing that because he's turned to me a knife addict or some shit, man. I've got so many knives, it's ridiculous. And uh, a lot of them are coming from that guy. Besides, I've got a couple from Blood, uh, Blade Play. And i got some other ones uh, <clears throat> coming in from other places, too. But um, I've got a few more coming, and I think that's about it. 